who is the president of Future Generations University and has been in the Himalayan region for over 70 years, how relationships and equality can be generated through education. Well, first of all, there's formal education and non-formal education. Okay, and one of the interesting things in Nepal is if you look at so many Nepali leaders, uh, especially leaders in the 60s and the 70s, they had very little formal education, but they were very educated people. Okay, and you had people who were running around in villages who had had a very basic education and they went to the United States and they did PhDs. Okay, so... Going through the formal education system isn't, not, isn't necessarily the answer to becoming educated. And we have come up with the conclusion now that you, formal education is essential. I'm sure your father and mother are telling you you must go to school, you must go to college, and preferable you must do some postgraduate. And what is really important is that we develop a learning mentality. And the learning mentality is now more available through mobile technologies. It's more available through peer activity groups. And that isn't to say that the accreditation through formalized school is not important. But if the Himalayan people are going to become integrated with the people of the world, they have to become knowledgeable, skilled. And when I go pass through, uh, let's say, Dubai, and I see so many people in the Dubai airport who are from the Himalaya. And they are be working very hard, but they're not having the opportunities that other people will be having. I'm saying this is a mindset problem because they've got the wrong mindset about what is their education and what is learning that matters.